Good morning, everybody. Cheryl Echeverria here of Echeverria Travel, and you're talking news, travel news, that is, with Echeverria Travel. Today is October 3rd, 2022, and first of all, I want to say, thank God we're okay here. Uh, we lost power for about an hour during Hurricane Ian. My friends and family are okay. I'll uh, just let you know uh, the west coast of Florida was hit pretty bad, especially uh, Sanibel Island, Fort Myers, and that area of uh, Florida. So if you're a Gold Coast person who loves going to the beaches there, a lot of the bridges are out, a lot of, a lot of damage out there. So if you're planning on going, please check your roads, check your family. A lot of fundraising will be going on. And check with the governor. He did uh, post uh, legitimate sites to help out. Stay away from the uh, GoFundMe pages and so much more. Uh, a lot of uh, people displaced, a lot of flooding. So uh, God bless everybody. So today I am talking about, first of all, 12 more days until I'm on Virgin Voyages, Scarlet Lady. Nelson, I cannot wait. Ever since we were on the day tour of her back in 2021, we fell in love. We hold, like the whole idea of everything not being your face, not everything being overdone, not everything with a grand gesture, like many of the other cruise lines, especially the mass market ones, the big family cruises. I mean, yes, don't get me wrong, I like that stuff, but not all the time. I like the laid back feeling. I love the comfortable feeling. I like the yacht feeling because when you're walking around a ship, they're more dressed up like sailors than, uh, you know, the blue and white stripe. They, they know your name. It's more of a small ship feeling. And they get about 2,000 passengers instead of about 6,000 passengers. So that's some of the things. So when you walk into the ship, you're not going to see this grand ballroom type of Entrance feeling is very laid back, very relaxed, but you still see your stores. They do have a, a they do have a place you can get tattoo if you want to. You see Atlantic Records there, where well, you can check out some records or uh, or listen to them. Uh, you got uh, bars and eateries all around. You get small places to hang out in. They have medium to small size venues that get smaller and smaller and smaller. So because more intimate to you, you can make a place of your own versus a place for 50 other people sharing that romantic getaway quiet space, which I like. So uh, that, that's some things you may want to think about. Uh, I always say, you know, age is just a number. And with Virgin, that is correct. Age is just a number. Uh, but uh, with them, it's 18 years to sail. You must be with somebody who's 21 years and older to sail with. Uh, the average age is 30 to 65, but there's plenty of people on there that are older. There's plenty of people on there who are younger. But the average age, I would say, is about 50-ish that goes on there. People that want to relax, people that want to let their hair down a little bit, which you can get foodies. If you're a foodie, oh my God. And all your food is included, except where I found out somebody was one of my followers, another colleague, and some because we all watch the blogging out there, get ideas and see what other travel professionals are doing. If you're into trying an English cake, which is traditional since Richard Branson is English, it's, there is a charge for it. And it's that typical three o'clock in English tea. It's about $19 a person, which I was a little shocked to hear because English tea on cruise ships are usually included on your cruise. So that was a little shocking. But um, your your uh, all your other food is included. Uh, you need to set up your excursions like anything else. You got to be cashless like anything else on, on your cruise ship. So remember to have a credit card or debit card register your room. And it, it even included your, your uh, room service is included with that free dining. 
some of the uh, other cruise lines do charge a certain uh, service fee on that. But remember, the people that are delivering your food to your roof and room service are not getting the same tip as you get in gratuities when the gratuities are included with your cruise. So remember to tip them on that. Activities on your ship. So I'm going to say the more health and fitness forward with Virgin. You don't have to be health and fitness. You don't have to be, uh, you know, what are these people in bikinis walking around with beach bodies, workout bodies and stuff. But they are more health and wellness uh, forward. They have everything from workouts to lectures, both health and fitness, all different kinds of activities to join. If you're not into that, you don't have to do that. They do have two pools. They're not as big as the other cruise lines, but they're big enough that there's a number of soak tubs and um, hot tubs. Also, there's uh, the front of the ship where they have the, the big net where you can sit in and relax. Plenty of plenty of lounge chairs all around the deck of the ship where you can just sit and relax anytime you want. There's no lounge hogs like you would have on with other cruise lines. Uh, there, there's definitely uh, specialty areas if you're up in the Rockstar Suite with Richard's uh, Nest up on the top deck there, which is a private lounge. You could also get your own uh, areas to rent out for the, excuse me, either the day or the week, and that is uh, cabanas, and you can get food and drink. They're about $500 a day, and that's to use the cabana. So if you have five people with you, that's $100 per person. It's nice and quiet, relaxing, breezy. Again, you get your food, you get a butler with that. So that's nice to have if you want it. You don't have to have it. Like I said, there's no fighting with that. They even have boxing rings around the deck. And they have on the top of the deck a great walking track. And yes, those people with disabilities have found out there is a wheelchair uh, elevator to get you up there, which I've kind of been using the walking track. Uh, I need to get back into shape myself. I've been uh, gaining weight, and that's not good for me. And uh, it's still. I, and entertainment at night. It is different. It's not the Broadway show type. We did see the almost like Cirque du Soleil type Romeo and Juliet uh, performance that they have every cruise. Plus they have a drag queen show. They have the uh, the manor, which is a uh, discotheque. They have a karaoke. They have the pajama party, they had the red hot party, they get the sail away parties. If you're a night owl, they have these parties later in the evening. So um, yes, 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 you can party, party, party. But this time, like I said, there's a time and place for everything and you will enjoy yourself. If this is the type of cruise line you like. Like you said, this is, I like version for what they stand for, what they do, their there are things on the world saving our oceans, especially Richard Branson with OceanUnite.org. Uh, I like how their uh, the ships are clean energy and recyclable. They're one of the top, like with MSC and some other cruise lines that are getting there, but they're not 100% yet. But MSC and Virgin are one of the top that are highly into saving our planet. So take a look at that when you're thinking of your next trip, who really is in working with saving our planet and our animals and all that. Uh, their destinations, especially in Europe, they go to places like Saint Tropez and smaller destinations versus uh, the big. I mean, if you've been to Venice, Rome, Paris, all that, and you want to do something different and more chic destinations. They got places like Monaco, like I said, Trent, Sand, uh, Tropez, 
and other destinations. Uh, Scarlet, a resilient lady, does that. She's going to be here in, excuse me, Valiant Lady, not Resilient Lady. Valiant Lady will be here for the winter sailing. We have Resilient Lady that will be going to Australia and New Zealand area. So we do have uh, a great offer that uh, if you book now for that, you get 20% off your cruise to Australia and New Zealand area starting in 2024. So please start booking with us. To subscribe to this channel, please hit the bell below. Uh, we'd like to hear from you and also your comments. So the great offer, I did post an offer last week about Florida residents. Take a look at that. Okay, today's offer is, and I don't know how long this is going to be, but this is for you your and your besties, your peeps, your crew, whatever you call your friends and family. You could get up to $800 on board credit just for inviting your friends and family to come with you. And how do you do that? Well, each booking, your first booking is $50 on board credit. Your friend books a room. That is now, they you get an additional 50, they get $100. A third, that would be 150. You all get $150 and so on and so forth. Up to 16 rooms, with, which would equal $800 on board credit. So remember, when you're selling with Virgin, invite your friends to come along because you all will get something included. Plus, if there are other options like Florida residents or romance, or like what's going on in November, get free bar tab, which is your drinks on Virgin Voyages, book now, and that way you get your free drink through the month of November. So keep following us. We will be on, like I said, October 14th to the 19th on Scarlet Lady. I have to come to you live. If not, we will have videos and pictures from our trip. We do have pictures and videos on this on our YouTube right here from 2021 of a tour and some of the pictures that we took. So I hope to have pictures of our cabin, the small areas, the entertainment, and so much more. What else do I have for you today? Well, you know that I've been mentioning that Nelson and I will be going on the naming of the brand new Carnival Celebration Cruise on November 20th, 2022. And I just found out that who the godmother of the cruise ship is. I think that's going to tell you who it is. I'm going to show you who it is. So right now, watch the video for Carnival Celebration. Everybody, Kathy Lee Gifford here. I don't know if you remember, but I was a spokesperson for Carnival Cruise Line for 20 years, a long time ago. In 1984, I signed with Carnival. In 1986, I married my husband, Frank. And then in 1993, a little princess arrived in our lives named Cassidy Erin Gifford. I have a surprise for her today. I hope it's going to rock her world and that she's not going to be upset because she doesn't like surprises. Let's go do this. Hey. Uh, hi. <laughs> hi. Surprise. I thought we were going to lunch. We were going to go to lunch eventually, but I have some news for you I have to share. First of all, congratulations. <laughs> for what? I'll tell you. Let's go in. Where did you spend most of your childhood? On a Carnival cruise ship. <laughs> yes. Well, Christine Duffy, president of Carnival Cruise Lines, called me a couple of weeks ago and said, Kathy, we have a brand new superliner. The, the Carnival Celebration. Is that the one you were the godmother? Yes, okay. yes, back in 19... 87. She called me to say, we would like to pass the torch on to your daughter, Cassidy. We would love her. Oh I'm going to cry. We would love her to be the godmother on the brand oh new God. carnival celebration and christen it November 20th in Miami. I'm blown away. I'm so 
thankful and excited. And Carnival has been such a huge part of our family, pretty much my entire childhood. I don't know what to say. Thank well, you. Well, you need to say yes. We need an official yes so we can count on it. I can make plans. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. I, honestly, I don't mean to sound like a broken record, but the majority of all of my earliest memories were our family trips on Carnival, and it's they're a part of our family, and I know they've been even longer apart of your life and your legacy that you're leaving on. So it's an extraordinary blessing and honor um, to be asked. So thank you so much. And I'm, I'm so excited. If they could see me now out on that fun ship cruise. I love you, baby. How exciting is that, peeps? All right. So anyway, Cassidy Gifford is going to be the godmother of the sea of the carnival celebration and uh like i mentioned i will be it's up here i will be on that cruise ship with nelson on the first time i've been on a naming cruise i've been on the inaugurals but this is the first time we'll be on a naming cruise it's going to be party 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 all night long i hope to bring you maybe even some live video streaming from the rooms, from the entertainment area, hopefully get to Kathy Lee Gifford and Cassidy and take pictures with them. So I'm very excited about that. Yeah, that was Milton. So stay tuned for more. Why use a travel agent? Because we bring you these awesome information. And plus remember, if you're not using a travel agent, you're paying for one. I've mentioned this over and over again. Our commissions are booked into whether or not you use a travel agent or not it, on the on, uh, on the online uh, booking engines, whether you book direct with a cruise line, whether you book directly with a tour operator, uh, an uh, airline, whatever, that money is there. And if it's not being used for a travel agent, it's going back in corporate pocket. They're not going to take it out and say, nope, well, travel agent didn't use this. We're going to put this into our pocket. So remember, we're not that there are over 50. Well, I know I'm with outside agents. Who is my host agency? And a host agency is just like your back end office. I do almost every, everything myself, but we get the best rates, we get the best offers, and Outside Agents just celebrated our 30th anniversary. Yay, the Outside Agents. And we're the number one host agency in the United States. We outdid a number of other host agencies out there, including, including cruise planners. Yay. Well, cruise planners, I can't, uh, Compared to they're a franchise and I'm an independent contractor. Two different things that if you know the difference, fine. If you don't, uh, they pay to be part of cruise planners. I own and operate my own business. I am now celebrating 15 years this month. 15 years. That's great for any business in this day and age. I'm a woman business owner who happens to be disabled. And that's a double, double, double wonderful event. And we service all clients from the United States. Unfortunately, we cannot do outside. We can do Puerto Rico, we can do Canada, but we cannot book anybody outside of that area. We do not do airline tickets. So we do not do hotels unless you book a vacation package. And that is a cru cruise land. Uh, customized trips, you name it, we do it. And we offer concierge service, premium and luxury brands. Give us a call at 631-456-5394. Reservations at echeveriatravel.com. And please hit the like button and subscribe button and hit the bell. We look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Bye-bye.